Well, millions of Americans have ongoing back pain. You may be one of them. In fact, it's the leading cause of disability in people younger than 45. Now, a new state-of-the-art robotic surgical guidance system is allowing surgeons to perform safer and more accurate complex spine surgeries. Here to share more about this fascinating new development, Dr. Moazes with Tri-City Medical Center. Good morning, Good morning. doctor. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You are specifically using this uh, robotic device, and we're very interested in hearing more about it. I'm sure there are so many viewers who have back pain. How common is back pain? Yes, so Brooke, you're in great shape. Me, I'm in so-so shape. <laughs> chances are both of us will develop back pain in our lifetime. And that's because 80% of Americans will have at least one episode of debilitating, debilitating back pain in their wow, lifetime. Wow, 80%. So it's super common. That's the bad news. The good news is technology is constantly getting better and better. And here in San Diego, we actually have robotic spinal surgery, one of the first cities to have it. So we were one of the first cities to get this in the country, and now it's being rolled out uh, nationwide. Just, just where were we in the process? Yes, when we purchased our robot, we were number eight in the United States, and I believe now it's up to 70 robots in the U.S., so it's rapidly expanding. Wow, that's terrific. Now we're seeing on the screen right now a uh, video of the robot. Describe what's happening. So this is a robotic navigation system which moves up and down this patient's spine and it's really based on planning that the surgeon does ahead of time based on each patient's unique spinal anatomy. So what can people expect? Not, I mean, not only is this safer and more accurate, but what can they expect in terms of their recovery? Does it help with that as well? Absolutely. Because a lot of the surgery is actually done ahead of time. So, for example, I'll sit there on my laptop the night before surgery, and one of my favorite things to do is plan out the surgery. So with technology, the surgeon can draw out the perfect surgery for that patient's anatomy and then the next day the robot allows you to reproduce that with incredible accuracy better than one millimeter of accuracy and what that translates into is less time under anesthesia smaller incisions less blood loss so these patients literally get up and walk the same day of their surgery they're leaving the hospital sooner and they're having much better outcomes with spinal surgery. Wow, that is just absolutely incredible. I mean, you can be at home in your bed the night before just kind of planning out this surgery. Now that kind of answers one of the questions I had in my mind. Does this take the human element away of having your doctor operate on you because now it's a robot? But it sounds like you're still doing a lot of the manipulation. Absolutely. So the, the robot has arms, but the surgeon is still controlling all the instruments going in and out of the patient's spine. And the surgeon is the one that does all the planning, which is really the most important part of the surgery. So what I tell my patients is most of your surgery is actually done before you even rolled into the operating room. So they're actually in the OR for a very short period of time. And how successful has this been? It's been incredibly successful. Um, if you look at the statistics worldwide, the rate of errors with spinal surgery is about 10%. We've been very fortunate with the robotic technology. We're getting better than 99% accuracy with these uh, with the instrumentation weighing in the spine. Wow. So incredibly accurate, better incredibly. than we could ever do before. Just fascinating. Now, if someone has uh, back pain and is watching right now, you not only do surgery, but you do clinical work as well. Where and how could they come see you? Absolutely. So my partner, Dr. Neville Lean, and I, who do these surgeries, we're located in the North County at Orthopedic Specialists in North County. And the robotic surgeries are done at Tri-City Medical Center in Oceanside. So someone would come in and perhaps the process would be get an x-ray, be seen by you uh, and, and your coworkers, and determine whether or not they even need surgery. You could treat them clinically if that's not Absolutely. the case. Absolutely. So I tell patients, although we have these fancy new robotic technologies, the best surgery is still no surgery. So most patients do respond to physical therapy. Uh, activity modification, medications, injections. There's a lot we can offer them before they even get to surgery. I like to hear that, a conservative approach. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for sharing thank this you with for us. Me. This is fascinating. We're going to have you on again at 10 o'clock tonight to talk a little bit more about this. Thank you. Thanks, Doctor.